We want to talk about those who were hospitalized today. The number has been static at two dozen roughly, and we have learned that most of those people who were hospitalized today have now been released from the hospital. That's right. We were hearing from some of the uh, medical professionals out at one of the hospitals. I believe that was North Shore Highland Park Hospital. He was mentioning that they had 25 gunshot injuries. They were ranging from severe to minor. Of those, 19 were treated and discharged. The others within that range were either transferred to other hospitals, including Comer Children's Hospital, right. to give you an idea of the fact that we're talking about very young children here. 8 to 85 were, was the range at just that one hospital alone. Um, and they did tell us earlier that of the those that did not make it. Five of those died at the scene and one of them did die when they were transported to a hospital. CBS 2's Tara Molina has been covering this part of the story for us. She is live at Highland Park Hospital with the very latest from that side of the story. Tara. Chris and Erica, we're just now kind of learning about the number of people that have been treated here throughout the day. You kind of just gave a little bit of a wrap on it there, but okay. I'll I'll repeat that for those just tuning in. We've got 25 gunshot victims treated here of 26 total treated and a standout of those numbers, th four to five children treated here. And these patients were between the ages of eight and 85. So from children to seniors, just going out to a parade to enjoy the 4th of July today, 25 of them ended up here at the hospital with gunshot wounds. We also know that 10 of them were transported from the parade. That means 15 of them were shot in that area and somehow got themselves here for treatment. There are two people still here receiving treatment. We're not sure of their ages. The rest of them, like you said, have been released or transferred to other hospitals with specific treatment options. We know that one child went through emergency surgery here and was then transferred to Comer Children's for some specific care. I'm told that another child was transferred over to Evanston. But again, 25 gunshot victims treated here at some point throughout the day. We heard from the medical professionals doing that work. The look on their faces when they came out here really said it all. They talked about this being just a horrific, a horrific incident that hit much too close to home. And they're also affected by this. I want to take, I want you to, to hear from them firsthand. Take a listen. There's a lot of emotions, but these trauma surgeons, I mean, their reflexes are extraordinary. They know exactly what to do. The nurses are crackerjack nurses. So you stand in awe at their, their competency and their professionalism, but it breaks your heart to see people, innocents, essentially wounded. And then you see the heroic effort to save their lives, and it's a tough day, but a good day. We took care of sick people. Tough day, but a good day because they were able to offer care and really help those 25 gunshot victims. Again, 26 total treated here. We've been here since this morning, just now gathering those specific details on those with injuries that were here and were treated by those medical professionals. Again, ages, age range, eight to 85, children to seniors. We're told that their injuries r ran the gamut. Uh, gunshot wounds were uh, across the body. Some people were in critical, but thankfully 19 people already treated and discharged from the hospital here. A number of others transported to other hospitals Two still here receiving treatment. So we'll continue to gather the latest and bring that to you from the hospital. All right, Tara, thank you.